I'm about to say something that's gonna piss some of you all off, but it won't be a lie. It'll be it'll be the truth. And even though you may not like this truth, it will protect you more than the black men who you are complaining about won't protect you. And so here we go. Stop crying over the fact that black men won't protect you. Because crying over something ain't never helped to nothing. Black men are saying, a lot of them, that they will not protect or defend black women. And they seem to have a lot of reasons as to why. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And so you whining, crying, and begging ain't gonna fix it. The best thing that you can do at this point as a black woman is to just accept it. Stop fighting them on that. Know that when you are out in public, you cannot depend on a black man for protection. When you finally accept that reality, you will take on the responsibility of being the guardian of your own personal safety. Being in my 50s, this is a reality that I've had to accept. I have accepted for a long time now. All of the trauma that I have ever faced and dealt with in my life stem from the actions of a black man. That's a reality that I don't like. I don't like admitting that. But me not admitting that doesn't help me. I'm going to pause it right there. This is her story. This is her truth. I am not with pushing back against people who are telling you their lived experience. This is her lived experience. I'm not going to push back against any of the brothers that have had poor experiences with women and had to take L's and fatherhood and shit like that. I'm not going to push back against your lived experience. What I will say, a lot of times when women are coming here, they're more open to tell their side of the story. This is why we get so much pushback against the manosphere, red pill, man-centric space just in general, because women talk more. When they outnumber us, they're all going to share their horror stories, even if when she says, hey, I don't like admitting that fact, but it is what it is. It's another woman that'll come out, another woman will come out. This is why when I'm doing this stuff for y'all, Y'all have seen, y'all literally seen me cry. Y'all have seen me piss the fuck off. Y'all have seen me give gay people smoke, straight men smoke, women smoke. Ain't nobody goddamn safe. I've said it before. I don't know if I've told y'all recently with the new viewers and subscribers, I done had to give my mama this smoke before. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! So if my mama ain't safe, ain't none of you motherfuckers safe. All I do that again for a reason for black men to find a positive fuck it. Not in just raising hell and cussing people out, but telling your goddamn story how the fuck you see fit. That's why it's important to tell these stories of a theory bastion. The brother did not make it home. Trying to help. I'm going to let this sister keep going and then I'm going to chop it up some more. So I have been weary of black men for a very long time. And I hate that. <clears throat> but pretending like that doesn't exist doesn't keep me safe. I Pause it again. This idea that so many women have in their head that black, black men won't protect them and things like that, they never put into context what the fuck triggered that result. We got to be honest about that shit. Ain't nobody except some crazy ass psychotic dude just going to haul off and punch you in the fucking face. No one but a, a grapist is going to do that to you. The average day-to-day -day guy is not finna put his hands on you. Most guys don't even like arguing with women. We learned that lesson so goddamn long ago. That whole going back and forth with women, that shit don't work. Even when we're 100% right, you're totally wrong. Just the fact that you're a woman, you're gonna over and out talk him. I can't win a race if you still running. Even when I'm right, as a man, I know I'm wrong. So even with me giving pushback against this, brothers, you got to be aware that some sisters just have this shit in their mind. So even when you do help, there's going to be a lack of appreciation. There's going to be a either I'm shocked and surprised and genuinely don't know what to say because I think so fucked up about black men on a regular basis, or it's going to be a, I could have did that myself. I didn't need you, nigga. So as men, brothers, be able to set that shit and walk the fuck away. Let it keep on running. I accept that they are the biggest <clears throat> threat to me as a black woman. And so I take my safety, my personal safety, very seriously. And I take full responsibility for it.
Just like I don't expect anything from, say, white women, I don't expect anything from black men. Now, if one comes along and shows me something different, that's great. I'm here for it. But I don't expect it because that's not the norm. That actually is the norm, but a lot of sisters don't realize it. The exception. Pause it real quick. Story time. You know how many times I've went up to a woman that I really didn't want at a club or a bar or just being out cigar lounge because I see this dude eyeing her when she on her third drink and I'll just I'll start talking to her first because I know I can have I know I would have a good conversation I'm not gonna say I got all this talk game but I have a good adult conversation and in the midst of that conversation right before I'm I tell her sis I'm being honest with you I'm gonna get your number you know we chop it up after this or whatnot but that dude over there in the red don't look the whole don't look shit do over there dude is eyeing you and i'm just i'm telling you as a man i'm not feeling that vibe y'all can say co for cop blocking all you want to but when you in the club when you in these different spots and alcohol is flowing like that you already know what time it is now if they two grown folks and they want to go over there and do that shit then at the end of the day the next day the woman can't holler great well she actually can legally because she's you may be too intoxicated to consent but I would be remiss when the dude is just in there salivating. Something's off. It's different than, oh shit, Shorty got an ass. Like every man knows that look of dude like, damn, you see that? You see that? Shit, you gonna holler? Nah, bro, you got it. You got that one. Or that dude is make a V-line for a woman, but there's always that one motherfucker, even as men, you don't like the energy he's giving off. So it's so many times we have ran interference for y'all ladies. Matter of fact, the ladies in the chat, Go ask your cousin, your husband, your boyfriend. Go ask your brother how many times he's ran interference that possibly saved some woman's life or at least her box from being taken that night. Go ask him. When we get off this live, hit him up. Have you ever ran? Have you ever ran interference at a club because you there's something just ain't feel right? Whether the dude was your homeboy or just some random dude in the club, and you saw the way he was looking at this chick. Could have been somebody you knew or something. You just wasn't feeling him. So you ran interference and kept that woman's attention a little bit longer just so that motherfucker fell back. Go ask him tonight. It's so many times, sis, that we protect y'all. Y'all don't even fucking know you was in goddamn danger. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Slide over here real quick. Salute to Antonio. Says it's always one. Yes, sir, big bro. I appreciate you being in here. Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. I'm going to let this keep on running. I'm not saying sis lying. I'm, not, I'm just saying I'm not agreeing with everything she's saying, and I got to give that pushback. It's so many times, ladies, that we protect y'all. You never knew you was in fucking danger. To the rule. So all these think pieces, all this crying, all this whining, all this anger redirect that focus on making a real plan on how to keep yourself safe personally i carry mace and i carry the good stuff the stuff that chokes you blinds you makes you cough and cuts off your breathing and then there's sally she's my favorite my glock 17 i have many girlfriends but she's my favorite i practice i stay sharp i don't go around looking for trouble i keep my emotions in check I don't engage idiots. Pause. Heard that big part. She keep her emotions in check and she don't engage with idiots. So she's not one of those sisters going back and forth doing all that jaw jacking. Gotta have the last word. She knows she got her protection. And this is the thing I tell sisters a lot of times. That equalizer, that pistol, that some form of an equalizer, that mace, that knife. Then you gotta actually make a, a smart decision when it's time to use it. Because now some legal ramifications are coming behind it. Now y'all starting to understand the shit that men got to think about and deal with a lot of time. Why y'all trying to throw us to the goddamn wolves? Because once you squeeze that trigger, ain't no taking it back. So you got some decisions to make. So I like what she's saying right here when she's saying, hey, now you got to actively have a plan. 
Let it keep on running. Or fools. Because I know Sally right there. At all times, just waiting for me to stroke her. So stop crying and get you a Sally or a Barbara or a Betty or Keisha. And stop depending on help that you're not going to get. Put on your big girl panties and be a woman about it. Stop crying. Bring it back on me. You know where she gets her? You go, girl! <laughs> not mad at her because the same shit I've preached to a lot of women. You don't know how men were raised that are out there. You don't know what situation he was in. You don't know if that dude is on his third strike. He may have be on his third strike for dope or something. He can't get in any more trouble, but he just happened to be the guy to see you getting into a tussle with somebody. Now he getting into a tussle with him. Now the police come. Now he might be looking at his third strike because he done gotten a physical altercation. It's so many layers and fucking factors that people don't want to talk about. That's what the fuck pisses me off. It's like, oh man, you making up shit. I'm adding shit in because it fucking happens. Got it! fish grease the shit happens and then again it gets dismissed as it doesn't happen this is why when you go on these other panels and podcasts and shit like that these motherfuckers don't like fleshing this shit out then we got two examples one brother got a bullet in his head struggling for his life and one brother just ain't make it left a newborn the other brother left his daughter in college like come the fuck on it's plenty of black men out here protecting doing what the fuck we're supposed to do and don't get none of it. We don't get so much as a motherfucking thank you. But all the attention, all the highlights go to the bitch ass dude. We so worry about trying to fix him instead of making, polishing up the dude that's already on the straight and narrow and using him as example of what the bitch nigga need to try to be like. Nope, you're trying to fix the bitch nigga himself, but you're giving him reward by giving him attention and children. And somehow, some way, this shit makes sense in our community. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. I say it all the time. This shit makes sense in our community. And no matter what the fuck happens, how fucked up we are, how behind we are in a lot of stuff, we keep doing the same actions. Let's keep on rolling, man. We almost out of here.